Paria's witness Catherine Balkisun said the company took quick and urgent action in an attempt to de-risk the situation, but said it was a balancing act to send rescue into the pipeline. She maintained that the conditions inside the pipeline were unknown, as was the cause of the incident at the time, and noted that Paria took the decision to ensure no one re-entered the area after Christopher Boudram was rescued, despite a relative of one of the divers stating his willingness. Paria also took action to say, listen, hold up. You're, are, you on, are you sure you want to dive in there? Because these are the risks too, huh? Someone lives could be lost, huh? It's, it's, a, it's a balancing act, right? It might be a different balancing act if it was your father that was in the pipe or your son. I think we'll take a break then. No, that's not fair. No, no, is there an objection to that? Paria's attorneys then intervened. I don't think it's fair with the greatest of deference to do that to the witness. We have, we on this side representing Paria has been respectful and sensitive to Mr. Kirk, Mr. Ali and all of that. It's only fair, it's only fair that we extend the same respect and deference to Paria's witnesses. Mr. Lynch then apologized and clarified his statement. And of course, I'm very sorry that you are upset by this, Ms. Balkisun. But part of the risk analysis must include the person being willing to go into a pipe and make a, take a greater risk. I, I, I cannot divorce myself from the fact that if it were my son, I would take a risk that I might not if it were not my son. Following this, the inquiry took an extended break to allow the witness some time. Sonolala, TTT News.